Peace of YouTube fan. It's your boy Ray Imperial. We back with another one. Out here doing some light drag work. A little brief intermission. Very, very light. When I say we doing light drag work, I mean real, real light. See that little chain? That's all we doing right now. We not doing nothing spectacular. That's all we doing right now. really adding a little loose resistance what we want to see is him moving at his normal pace with that on right so the pace he would normally move at absolutely no resistance we want to see him so acclimated to that light weight that little light extra weight that he's literally uh, now moving at the pace that he normally does like there's no difference at all and that's really what we want, right? Now, why do we want that? Because that shows that his strength, his stamina, all of these things are improving. Right? That's the whole idea. You want the dog to be growing stronger. Greater sense of endurance, right? Greater muscle endurance. Definitely want your dog looking good. That's automatic, but uh, I'm not into cosmetic muscle. I'm not into that. Um, it's great that a dog has great genetics and all of that kind of stuff, but if a dog has that kind of muscle on it, to me, that's that's muscle that that needs to serve a useful purpose. Like that, mu that muscle need to be about something. And just to show y'all that we're gonna keep it a little bit funky with him moving at this resistance weight. Um, all right, leave it. Let's go. Too much trash out here, man. There's plenty of shit out here he could get to. Hey, go get it. There you go. There you go. That's just to show you just how light that thing is. Ain't a whole lot going on there. We just let him do what he want to do. You know what I mean? This is not really designed to be a whole workout. It's just designed to be a little interim fat burner. You know what I mean? Keep the dog active. Leave it. Come. Leave it. Heal. Come on. See? We'll be right back to work. Right, back to work. boy, go check. We want to encourage him to do all the things he would normally do. All right, leave it, come. Eh, leave it, come. Uh, come. It's dog shit, nigga. You're going to smell dog shit a million times. Let's go. We're going to keep this primarily in the grass today because it is lightweight. These are little things, man, that teach a dog, man, that we work regardless, right? A little bit of resistance every now and then to the daily routine. Don't never hurt nothing. And of course, we can certainly go up and wait if we want to. We can always throw on some extra weight. We're not doing that today. Right? Just let him stretch his legs. Just let him stretch his legs, man. Basically, we ain't doing shit but walking the dog today. You know what I mean? We're not even taking this as a real workout type sit scenario. Now, most of the snow and shit is melted out here. So that gives us a whole lot of uh, sense and shit. Come on, boy. Let's go. Boy looking good though. Come on, let's go.
these generic harnesses is all right for everyday work come on let's go I'm not into weight pull as a sport come on let's go uh, I think some light drag work is great for conditioning the dog particularly um when you have these uh powerful dogs like this you know um it's not a whole lot better than you can do for him and get him some nice drag work and show you what a difference it makes let's go keep it moving let's go Good look at the chain right there. Ain't nothing to that. If that's five pounds, you know I'd be surprised. Shit, when Raina was a pup, she used to rock that chain around her neck. That's all we doing today. We just going for a stroll. Let's go, come on, let's go. I'm gonna switch them pretty good though. I think like towards the uh, bottom of the legs there. I mean, just a little bit off. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm saying, but I mean, it's not a custom fit hunt, so there's only so much you can really expect. Um, come on, let's go. Gotta put a little uh, move on now. We got some other dogs we need to get out. At the very least, I'm gonna give them a chance to use the bathroom. He's actually where we would prefer for him to be. Dragging through rougher terrain. Had a clip faster than I'm moving. That's what I look to see. This is what he would normally do. Just left to himself. Come on. There he is again. He's been ahead of me. Tracking sense. Doing what he does. Not even realizing he's making his own job harder. But we for that. We are definitely for that. Whatever comes natural, let him rock. beauty of it is not the type of harness he can just take off with. Come on. I mean, he can, he could definitely get his boogie on at any point. But the fact that it matters is, um, that thing is going, just that thing dragging behind him is a, is a, is a sufficient deterrent. You know what I mean? It's a really good deterrent.
Mind you, y'all, we ain't did nothing here today. We ain't did nothing at all. Pardon the pink leash, but I'm just grabbing. Come on, let's go. I'm just grabbing what I'm grabbing and working. You really don't need no leash, but for public purposes, and you know, you go go after another dog, so it's always best to have some kind of leash. As y'all know, I do get down and gritty with my dogs. Wait, I do tend to get rent down and gritty with the dog so um, I ain't afraid about him like running up on nothing honestly I broke up so many goddamn dog fights to this motherfucking point I could teach a motherfucking novice on the spot how to break up a motherfucking dog fight have everybody walk away intact nobody even wanting to call the police just chalking it up to sometimes dogs clash and sometimes shit happens Trust me, I had to do it. Got these dogs, understand that they do go after other dogs. That's Camelot. I don't know about nobody else's Camelot. I'm telling you, you got one of these dogs. If you get a dog off me, you're gonna get a dog that's a dog aggressive animal. Now, out of respect, they will, uh, wait. Out of respect, they will, uh, you know, control themselves when you tell them to, especially around females, you know, males and females. It's, it's easier to get them to get along than it is to get, like, two males. And I'll be honest with you, not even that, Rocks. Real shit. Not even that, Rocks. Um, as y'all can see from one of my videos, you know what I mean? That's a male and female that, 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 that got it popping on that yard that day. Um, and that's not a, uh, you know, I'd like to say that, 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 you know, Star was just like that. That's what that bitch do. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? We went through that for a minute. You know what I mean? Star was setting everything off. You know what I mean? Star Star was so so trigger trigger happy that at the end of the day, um, I had to call into question whether or not I even wanted that breeding to go through. You know what I mean? Um, I rocked with it for a minute, but the fact of the matter is, she had the hair trigger temperament. Come on. Good boy. So that hair trigger temperament was not something, man, that, uh, you know, like, I prefer a stable temperament. I want you to hit when I say hit. I don't want you to hit, grab the closest thing to you just because a dog is barking. To me, that's bullshit. You know what I mean? Um, now, if you're raising a box dog, then you want that. Right? But me, in my particular case, I'm not raising no box dogs. Sit. Sit. Good boy. And uh, if I'm not raising no box dogs, then why in hell, right? 
but I want a dog that flies off the handle and grabs the closest thing to it right because another dog is barking across the street I don't want that shit to happen that's not what I have in mind what I'm looking for is a dog that uh He can focus on the threat in front of him. You understand what I'm saying? It doesn't automatically become, oh, the closest thing to him. What if the closest thing to that dog is a kid? Now, thank God, Star didn't have that kind of temperament, but still in all. Go ahead, boy. touch that at all he ain't gonna touch that for a year right get the fuck out of here he will not touch this bitch for a year 